take out your student books, okay, the textbooks, and come to page number. Thirteen, page number thirteen. Okay. There's a vocabulary part. Okay. House and home. What is the difference between house and home, children? What is the difference between house and a home? Anybody? Anybody who knows the difference? No. Can you all hear me properly? Am I clear? Do you? Now is it clear? Do you hear me properly now? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Come to page number 13 in your textbook, student book. I asked you, what is the difference between house and home? Anybody? House and home. Your home is where you live and house is just what, a just a building. Yeah, just a building and what home is. Very good, very good. House is just a building and home is where you live. There is a family, people who love each other. These these type of things happen inside a home, not in a house. House is just a building without people. Okay, anybody can build a house, but nobody can build a home without a family. So you all are living in homes, not in houses. Clear? Okay, now, which of these does your home have? A balcony, a bathroom, a bedroom, a dining room, a garage, a garden, a hall, a kitchen, a living room, stairs. A balcony means, what is the balcony? Where can we see the balcony? On the second floor. On the first higher floor. Than the ground. On the first floor. We don't say the second floor. We say the uh, ground floor, the next floor. So it's first floor. We don't say second floor. Ground floor, first floor. So in first floors or second floors, you can see, what can you see? A balcony where you can go out. Out means there is a separate place outside your room or like the any other passages. Then when you go out of this, you can see the outside. You can see your surrounding. That's the balcony. Uh, what is the singular word for balcony in singular? What is the word for balcony in Sinhala? Uh, uh, Sandal Utale, right? I think so. Okay. A bathroom is bathroom is where you take bath, everything. Right? A bathroom, or you can say washroom. A bedroom where you sleep, a dining room where you get your lunch, where you get your uh, breakfast, where you dine. Then the garage. Garage means where you park your vehicle. A garden, you know the garden, then the hall, kitchen, a living room, stairs. Chenuti, which of these does your home have? All. All. You have all. Okay. Induni? All. All. Hamesh and Roshali? Yeah, pretty much all of it. Okay, then Ulya. Then Ulya. Emit. Emit is not there. Emit left. Demindi. 
All. Read me. All. Okay. Kavya. All. Yasiru. Yasiru, are you here? No answers. Okay. Okay. Come to the second part. Look at the pictures. Where can you find the things from the box? Okay. Let's read the words first. Armchair, bath, blankets, chest of drawers, cooker, Cupboards, cushions, dishwasher, duet, fridge, microwave, mirror, pillow, rug, sink, sofa, taps, toilet, towels, wardrobe, washing machine. Any word that you don't know? Any word that you don't know the meaning of? Anybody? Tell me if you don't know any word from here. Yeah, tell me if you have any, any problem with the words. Armchair means a type of chair, right? But what is duet? Duet is a kind of a, can you see here? You can't see, I guess. Duet is some type of a, uh, what can we say? It's not a blanket. Um, a, where, well, we don't have the duets, I guess, because uh, in uh, Europe countries, so where, even in Dwarelli, I guess, because they have a very uh, cold climate, they use duets when they sleep. Any guesses what a duet is? Is it that very thick blanket? Thick, yes. It's a thick blanket or it's, it's a thick um, bed sheet type of thing. It's very thick so that you are protected from the uh, climate, this cold. This is a duet. Okay. Chenati, did you understand what a duet is? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Any word? Any, anything else? Anything else? Nothing. Okay, let's see. Armchair, where can we see? So in these pictures, first one, A, what is the what is the place? What is the place? Living room. It's a living room. It's a living room. Yes. B. Bathroom. B B B. Bedroom. The bedroom. C. Bathroom. 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 And D. Kitchen. 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 Okay. Let's see where you can find these things. Armchair. In the living room. Very good. Bath. Bath. Blankets. Bedroom. Bedroom. Chest of drawers. Kitchen. 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 And also any other places as well. You can you can bedroom. find chest of drawers bedroom. in bedroom. Yes. Even in living room, you can find them. Cooker. Kitchen. Cupboards. Bedroom. Bathroom. Uh, oh, Excellent. Yes. Bathroom. Yes, yes. Cushions. Living room. Living room. Oh, bedroom. bedroom. Bedroom as well, yes. Dishwasher. Kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Do it. Do it. Bedroom, 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 fridge, kitchen. Uh, kitchen. Fridge is in the kitchen. Microwave, kitchen, kitchen. 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 Mirror, Be bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom. Also in the bathroom. Pillow, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. rug. Bedroom, bedroom, living room, living room as well. Yes, 
sink. Kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen and the bathroom. bathroom. Yes. Sofa. Living, Living room. room. Steps. Bathroom, bathroom and kitchen. kitchen. Toilet. Bathroom. bathroom. Towels. Bathroom. 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 Yes. Maybe. Wardrobe. Ba uh, kitchen? No. It's in, it's in a bedroom. Washing machine. Uh, washing machine. Bathroom. Uh, the kitchen bathroom, yes. This is in the living room. Wait. Uh, yeah, we keep these things in very, uh, in very um, weird places. Right? Some people in Sri Lanka, they keep their washing machine in their... Uh, like in the hall or in the dining room or in the kitchen or in the uh, bathroom. Many places. Okay, but here we can say washing machine should go in the bathroom. And also wardrobe. What is the wardrobe? I, I, I heard that some where of you get dressed, said, where, do, where you get dressed. Huh? Yes, yes. Where you keep your dresses and all. Yes, that's the wardrobe. Okay, very good. Now let's come to the next uh, lesson. Countable and uncountable nouns. I think you all are aware of this lesson already. What is a countable noun? What is an uncountable noun? What can you say? Countable noun means you can count. Yes, uncountable nouns? We can't count. We cannot count. Cannot count. Yes, very good, very good. Look. Uh, a countable noun is things, objects that you can count. And uncountable nouns are things that you cannot count. As an example, for countables, we can say cups, right? Cups, can we count one cup, two cups, three cups, four cups, like that we can count. Uncountable, we cannot count like rice. Do we say one rice, two rices, three rices, four rices? Do we say? Or water. One water, two waters, three waters. Do we say? No. Air? So these kind of things we say uncountable nouns. What are they? Uncountable nouns. Let me give you the slideshow for that. Give me a second. I oh, know. Okay. Now Take your grammar books, grammar parts. The topic is countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. In the in the very first thing you wrote, it says 
can't tell and uncountable now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uncountable. Countable, uncountable. It's, it's correct now, right? Yeah. Finished writing? Yes, Not teacher. Not Anyone who's still writing? Who's still writing? Nobody, right? Okay, let's see. Countable and uncountable nouns is the topic. Countable nouns can be counted, very simple. Countable means you can count. It's, uh, countable nouns can be counted. Example, an apple, that means one apple, two apples, three apples, like that. So you can count. Another feature of countable noun is a countable noun has both singular and plural forms. Now you can easily uh, understand this. When you get a noun, you can see if this word has a plural form, like apple, you can see 
Apples, apples, yes. So apples is there, plural noun is there. That means it is a countable noun. Now you get rice. You check. Rices, rices is not there. So there's no plural form for rice. That means this is an uncountable noun. Clear? The, the easiest way to find this is you can, you can see, you can check if the noun has a plural form. If the noun has a plural form, that means it's accountable. Is it clear? Did you all understand it? Yes, teacher. Countable nouns have both singular and plural forms. But uncountable nouns cannot be counted and also doesn't have a plural form. You can see rice, water, air. We don't say waters. We don't say airs. We don't. We can't count them. So if there's no plural form for the noun, that means it's an, it's an uncountable noun. If a noun has a plural form as well, uh, instead of like, apart from the singular form, that means that noun is a countable noun. Like pen, you check. Does it have a plural form? Pens, is it there? Is pens, the word pens there? Yes, right, we have pens. No, pen, pens, a plural form is there. That means the noun, pen, is a countable noun. Clear? Is it clear? Did you all understand? Any doubts you can ask me? I understand. Anyone who has a doubt? Okay, then let's check if you have understood. I will give you some nouns. You need to write, Amit, I can see what you are doing and stop it. Stop changing your background. Okay? Okay, I'm going to give you some nouns. You need to write if these nouns are countable nouns or uncountable nouns in front of the word, okay? Number one, egg. Number one, egg. So you put a hyphen and write if it is uncountable now or an uncountable now. Okay, like that. Number two, jam. Number three, tomato. Tomato. Next one, milk, milk. Next one, book. Next one, computer. Teacher, what is after milk? Wait, wait a minute, wait. You're, uh, Book and computer. Next one, rice. How many words? Seven. 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 Then carrot. Carrot. Then tea. Tea. T E A T. Sugar. Sugar. Okay, right? If these words, if these nouns are countable or uncountable, and then put the raise hand option on or send a reaction so that I know that you have finished. Starting from Tenulia. Tenulia, tell me the noun. Then tell me the answer. Tenulia. Teacher, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Okay, I'm going to start from you. Okay, you tell me the first noun, then the answer, if it is a countable or an uncountable, like that. A countable noun. 
Jam, uncountable noun. No, 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 only Tomato. one, only one, only one, only the first one. Egg, countable noun. Egg, countable noun. Very good. Egg, countable. Second one, Kavya. Jam, uncountable noun. Very good. Chenuti? Tomato, uncountable noun. Countable or uncountable? Tomato countable. Yes, tomato countable. Iduni. Milk uncountable now. Milk uncountable. Hameshi. Book countable now. Very good. Drushali. Computer countable now. Very good. With me. Rice, uncountable noun. Very good. Emmet. Carrot, countable noun. Very good. Demindi. The uncountable noun. Good. Uh, Yasir. I think Yasir had a connection problem. Yasir, are you? Uh, Yasuru, I guess he has a connection problem. Idu need to tell me the answer. Sugar uncountable. Sugar uncountable. Noun. So countable nouns and uncountable nouns clear? Is it clear? Any doubts? Anybody? No problem. Okay. Let's go to the next lesson quickly. Same page, a few, a bit of, many, a much, a lot, and lots of. Okay, we are going to learn these words. See, how can we use these words? With what type of nouns? Okay, let's read the passage here. Look at what Gina says about her free time. Then complete the rules with countable or uncountable. Let's read it together. Let's read together. Okay, Let's start. I don't have, I much, don't have time. much time to watch everybody. TV. There aren't many programs I like, and do I usually have I usually have to watch TV. After that, I often have to come to Okay. It was a, such a mess, but fine. Uh, here's what we are going to do. Read, uh, look at the first uh, sentence. I don't have much time to watch TV. Now, much is there, right? After much, there is a noun. Underline much and that noun. Much and the noun. What is the noun there? What's the noun? What is the noun? Time. 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 So, much and time should be underlined. Then come to the second sentence. There aren't many programs. So, now underline many and programs. Program. Many and programs. Underline. Next. I usually have a lot of homework. A lot of homework. Underline a lot of and homework. Okay, then after that, I often like to do a bit of exercise. A bit of exercise, underline a bit of and exercise. A bit of exercise.
then we talk a lot we talk a lot underline a lot uh, sorry talk and a lot talk a lot talk a lot then we play a few video games few and video games few and video games then that's lots of fun lots of underline lots of then fun lots of and fun okay now come to rules no before come to rules tell me something much time time is a countable noun or an uncountable noun time uncountable uncountable very good time uncountable okay then programs Countable. Countable. Very good. Homework. Homework. Countable. Countable. Uncountable. Uncountable. It's uncountable. Like that. Now come to rules part. Okay. You need to be very careful and use your brains. Okay. For small numbers with blank. Noun, we use a few. Now, in the passage, go to a few. Where it is? A few. Where is it? Few video. We play a few video games, right? A few video games. Now, the rule is for small numbers with what type of nouns? Video games. Video games. Countable nouns. Countable, countable nouns. nouns. Very good. For small numbers with countable nouns, we use a few. Write countable. Not. Okay. Then come to the second know. one. For small amounts with blank nouns, we use a bit of. Go to a bit of here. A bit of exercise. A bit of exercise. Exercise? Uncountable. Uncountable. For small amounts with uncountable nouns, we use a bit of. Third one. With blank nouns, in questions and negative sentences, we use much. Ah, first one, see, is it a question or is it a negative sentence? First one, I don't have much time to watch TV. Negative sentence. Negative, negative sentence. sentence. So here, it, it, it's used in the negative sentence. Much is used in the negative sentence with what type of noun? Time. Uncountable, Uncountable noun. With uncountable nouns in questions and negative sentences, we use much. Okay. Oh. Next one. With blank nouns in questions and negative sentences, we use many. Let's go to many now. Here. There aren't many programs I like. So is it a question or a negative sentence? Negative sentence. Negative, negative sentence. sentence. With what type of words? What type of nouns? Countable. 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 With, un uh, with countable nouns in questions and negative, in questions and negative sentences, we use many. With countable. Programs are countable nouns. Okay, then there are no blanks here. Fifth one, we use a lot of or lots of for large amounts or numbers. We use them with countable or uncountable nouns. There are no rules for them. For lots and a lot of. Okay, see? Lots of fun. 
lots of fun. Then um, a lot of, it's not there. No, lots of fun. Fun is an uncountable noun. We took lots of pictures, we can say. So pictures is a countable noun. So no problem here. We use a lot of or lots of for large amounts or numbers. We use them with countable or uncountable nouns, no rule. Six one, if there is no noun, we use a lot instead of a lot of. Here, see, we talk a lot. We dance a lot. I write a lot. I read a lot. If there is no noun, I read a lot. I do it in many, uh, I do it many times. So I read a lot. There's no noun. So we end the sentence with a lot, not a lot of. We end the sentence with a lot. Clear? Clear? Are, are these uh, rules, are, are they clear for you all? These rules? You need to study these ones. For small numbers with, uh, uh, give me a minute. Yeah. See, for small numbers with countable nouns, we use a few, few video games. If you want, you can write the uh, example as well. From this passage, you can write the example here. So it will be very clear for you all. Do you want to? Do you want to write the example as well? From the passage? Like here, for small numbers with countable nouns, we use a few. You can write a few video games here. You can write a few video games here. Do you want to? Quickly, quickly. If you want to, we can write them. And also it will be very clear for you all. No. Second part is your homework. Second part, this one, homework. Then now. Okay, come to prepositions of place, children. We cannot waste our time, actually. That's why I'm going straight. Um, prepositions of place, page number 14. Okay, to emphasize the location, place of something, we use prepositions of place. Okay, so here we are going to talk about the basic ones at in and on, okay, at, in and on. Can you see? We didn't do prepositions of place, right? We did prepositions of time last time, last week, right? Isn't it? We did prepositions of time, not place. Yes. Okay. When do we use at? When do we use in? And when do we use on? When? Anybody? When do we use at, in, on? No idea. Is this visible for y'all? Is this visible? It is visible. Good. 
So prepositions of place. A prepositions of place is a preposition which is used to refer to a place where something is located. Okay, we use these words, we use these prepositions. Why? To refer to a place where something is located. So at, a preposition of place which used to discuss a specific point. When the place is specific, we use at, at the corner, at the bus stop. If you say, I am standing at the bus stop, it's, it means you are at the bus stop, not anywhere else. You are telling us the specific place you are at, right? We, we, we say, um, she works at a bank. She doesn't work at a school. She doesn't work at a court. She works at a bank, the specific place, right? So when we talk about the specific point of a place, we use at. Then in, a preposition of place, which is used to discuss an enclosed place, normally a bigger area. Okay, see, we live in an island. We live in Sri Lanka. It's covered, it has limits, and it's a big place. It could be big, it could be small, but it has its limits. It is covered with something, right? In the garden. So all the gardens in your area are yours? No, right? You have a specific place. You have a uh, limited area, which you say your garden. It's limited. It's covered with a fence or with a wall or something. In the garden, in London, in France, in a box, in a building, like that. Then, on. A preposition of place, which we use to discuss a surface. Normally, a surface. What is a surface, children? On the wall, on the ceiling, on the door, on the floor. And also, uh, we use this preposition in some other words as well, with some other places as well. We'll discuss it later. But normally, remember, on used with a surface. Okay, with a surface. Is it clear? At each on. Yeah. Tell me. No problems? No, teacher, no problem. Okay. Um, Vihara. Okay, children, you can note this down in your grammar book. Vihara, are you here? Okay, finish this and tell me so that we can move on to the next slide. Okay.
finish this part? When you finish, tell me, children, because uh, we need to move on to the next slide. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, do we have to write at also? At in these ones, everything you should write. Okay, teacher. Teacher, done. Anyone who is still writing, we can move on to the next slide. All no, right, no one is still writing. I am writing teacher. You're writing? Yes. Okay, teacher. Change the slide now.
<laughs> okay, very good. Others? Finish teacher. Anyone who is still writing? No, nobody. Good. Now let's move on to the student book. See. Exam candidates often make mistakes with prepositions like at, in, and on. Choose the correct option in italics. Okay, concentrate on your books or you can look at the screen as well. Sometimes we play on his house or at his house. At his house. Very good. At his house. He sometimes goes running at the park or in the park. In the park. Very good. Hameshi and Rushali sisters, what are you all doing? We usually stay in home or at home playing computer games. In at home. I think this particular word, phrase, is very familiar with you all these days, right? Stay at home, stay at home. Uh, don't you all remember? Right? Then there is a window. There is a window on the left of my bed or in the left? In the left or on the left? In the left? In the left. In the left. Anyone who's saying on the left? With sides, with sides, we say on, on the left of my uh, bed, on the right side, with sides, left side, right side, we say on. Normally, spend my day, I normally spend my day in the beach or at the beach? In the beach or at the beach? Sister Selby? At the beach. Very good. At the beach. I have some photos in the wall or on the wall? On the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Good. Complete the gaps with at, in, and on. School, work, home. What is the preposition we use? At. At. Very good, Demit. At. Next one, a town, a country, my room. In. 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 Then, the coast, a hill, an island. On. On. Okay, now you should get, you should have a problem here. Why do we use on with an island? We are living in an island and we don't say we are living on an island. We say we are living in an island, right? We say in, not on. Do you say on an island? No. Do you say? No. Then why do they say on an island here? Children, there is a rule in English language. Listen carefully. There is a rule in English language with an island who, where, where people don't live. Okay? There are islands where people don't live these kind of deserted islands where did it yeah deserted islands with these type of islands with these type of islands we say on is sri lanka a deserted island do people live here or not do people live in sri lanka in this island do people live or not Live. 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 People live in this country. So we don't say on, we say in. But with those islands where people don't live, we use on. Clear? Clear. Okay. 
uh, you can just note it down like at in on this part was done now take out your workbook there is a workbook right for y'all you you have it with you all right see anyone the longer It's a black and white one, I guess. Which book? The workbook. Do you all have it? The pages are black and white. It should be with you all. I will show you where it. This one. Do you have it? Did you find it? This one. This is the book. Preliminary, preliminary for schools workbook without answers. Do you have it? Yes. Very good. Yes. yes. Now I'm going to give you homework, a lot of homework. Okay. Mark, vocabulary number one, homework, mark them. Number one, number two, preposition of time and place, number two. Number three, countable and uncountable nouns. Reading part five, homework. Come to next page, page number six, frequency adverbs, homework. Then the next one, a few, a bit of many much homework. Teacher, can you say the homework homework again, please? Yeah, yeah, wait. Wait. Those who those who are those who catch me, they can continue. Page number six, present simple and present continuous. Third one, also homework. Next one, number four is also homework. So basically number uh, six, page number six, the whole page is your homework. Page number six, the whole page, homework. Then the writing part, come to writing part in, part in page number seven. See, remember there are four points you have to answer in the email. I, I taught you all this last week. There are four points in the email. Make sure you answer each one and add enough information about each point so that your email is about 100 words. Use words like because, so, and. You can use questions to make suggestions, give invitations, or ask for further information. Okay, so here, number three, can you see? Read this email from your English speaking friend, Robin and the notes you have made, okay? Here is the email, then write your email to Robin using all the notes. Writing email is your homework. Writing email is your homework. Again, um, Chenuti, as you requested, I'm uh, telling you the homework again. Page number four, whole page, page number four. The whole page. Page number five, reading part five only because the other one is the listening part. Uh, teacher, are we supposed to do all this in the workbook or in the writing book? You have enough space to do them in your book itself, but email writing you cannot write in the book, book itself, so you can use your writing part. Chenuti, page number six, the whole page. 
Then page number seven, email writing part. Got it? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay no problem. Shall we speak now? Shall we speak now? Okay. okay. Let me get your pictures and come. Give me a second, children. Okay, so here's the thing. I think uh, Emit, uh, no, not Emit. Chenitri, Indoni, Ritmi, Kavya, Vihara are familiar with this since they have done their CAT exam already. So they have the experience like what is, uh, what is going to happen in the speaking test. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. there are some parts of this PET for school exam, there is a speaking part. Right, where you go inside of a hall, exam hall with another participant, with another candidate, and you need to face to this, uh, you have to face this speaking test together. Hamesh and Rushali, you won't be able to go together as sisters, okay? Hamesh will have to go with another person, and Rushali will have to go with another kid, okay? And I don't know, I don't know if you, have, if you can go together, it, it will be your luck, no problem. Uh, but like, Induni will go with Chenuti or someone else, something like this. You go together, okay? You go together and they will ask you some questions. There are activities to do and they will evaluate you according to your, based on your performances, okay? So today what we are going to do is to give, get a practice of it. So first, I will get two students who have the experience already so you can see how they are doing it, okay? Like Hameshian, Rushali, Demindi, um, who else? Tenulia. Okay, you can get an idea. Emit, did you, you didn't go for Ket, right? Emit? No, teacher. No. No, teacher, he was something. Okay, so I will get Vihara. Is Vihara here? Yeah, Vihara is here. Vihara and um, Vihara and um, Iduni, are you ready? Can you do this? I'm not going to give you pet exam one. I'm going to I'm going to give you the pet exam one, the pet exam testing, uh, okay, teacher. taking test, okay? But it's same like pet exam. No problem. You just have to use your uh, speaking skill properly. Kavya, Tenulia, and Ridni, I can't see y'all. Okay, I prefer if you can turn your cameras on if it is possible. Okay. Hmm. 
Vihara will be the uh, participant A. So I will be asking Vihara the first question, then Induni. Okay, Vihara will be A, Induni will be B. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Yes. Okay. What's your name? My name is Vihara Mendes. Where do you live? I live in Ambalangada. Okay, thank you. Now I'm asking the questions from Induni. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Yes, here you are. What's your name? My name is Induni Vipara. Where do you live? I live in Ambalangada. It is situated in Southern Province. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm starting with Induni now. Okay. Induni, do you work or are you a student? I am a student student. What do you study? I study mathematics, English, ICT, science and some other subjects okay good vihara do you yes, work should. or are you a student i'm a student i still learn okay and what do you study i study english literature icd english math science uh, many more good okay in the name how do you get to school every day I sometimes I go by school bus. Sometimes I go, go my father's car. Okay, see, there you made a mistake. Remember, we use the adverb of frequency in between the subject and the verb. You have to say, I sometimes go by bus, not sometimes I. I sometimes go. I usually go like that. Okay, Indoni, what did you do yesterday evening? I read the book and did my school homework and played with my siblings. Okay, good. That's we had up. Do you think that English will be useful for you in the future? Yes, it will. Why? Um, so, so, uh, in jobs, uh, most people uh, find um, they they like they talk in English. So I might find uh, English uh, is important for our future for our jobs because they even take our information in English. Very good. Tell us about the people you live with. Uh, I live with my father, my mother, and my two brothers. Good. Thank you. Now, now I'd like each of you to talk on your own about something. I'm going to give each of you a photograph, and I'd like you to talk about it individually, not together. Okay, you have to, on your own, you have to talk about something. Okay, so, uh, Vihara. Yes, teacher. Here is your picture. I will show you the picture. Okay, it shows people learning a language. Okay? Okay, teacher. And please tell me what you can see in the photograph. Okay? Okay, teacher. Can you see? This teacher. Okay. okay, now talk about this picture. Um, I can see uh, three students, one boy and two girls. I think they're in a library uh, doing a project. 
and I can see some, uh, they're finding some information about, um, I think it's about something important which uh, the teacher has given them for um, as homework to do. Uh, I can see them really working hard and uh, and talking with each other and um, doing it friendly and I think they might they will do their pro project work. Thank you. Okay, you missed something. You didn't talk about the things that you can see. You can see there are bookshelves. There are so many books. You can talk about the details of these people. What type of uh, hair do they have? What color do what color hair do they have? What what are they wearing? What color are they wearing? That, right. How many people are there? You can you yes. can say these things. Okay, Induni, now it's your turn. This is your picture. Tell me what you can see in this picture. I can see a fa family uh, who who eating uh, lunch at the dining table, and there are uh, five. Uh, people in this picture and there is a boy and girl uh, uh, hiding hiding a flower bucket and uh, a gift and I think they will surprise their family members for some special thing uh, there are many foods in the dining table and some drinks. Uh, the girl is wearing a frock and uh, the boy is wearing a striped t-shirt and a, a gray trousers. And there, I, and there is a grandfather, I think, and he is talk to uh, his, his, uh, his relations, I think. They are in a outside i think it is their garden that's all good now this is for everybody okay this is for everyone when you get to describe these type of pictures any picture describing i will tell you three things to follow three things okay you need to remember this big part Sorry, uh, yeah, big part, the middle part, and the small part. Big part, middle part, and the small part. In the big part, what do you do? In the big part, you identify the people in the picture, things in the picture, and where are they, the location. Okay, you talk about the big things. Here, I will get this uh, picture, I can say, there are four, five people in this picture. I said, who are there? They are in their garden, I think. So I said, where are they? Um, what can I see? There is a table and there are food and drinks on the table. There are plates on the table. There are five chairs around the table, right? Then you can say, then you can say, uh, the, you can go to the middle part. In the middle part, what do you do? You explain the details of the people. Now you can say, the mother is wearing a white shirt and a blue color shirt 
Sisters, what are you all doing? I can see you all are playing. This is not the time to play. Concentrate on the lesson. I don't want you to play during my lesson. And uh, Amit, read me. Kavya, Tenulia, I can't see you all. If you have a problem, like connection problem or data problem, you can tell me. No problem. You can send me a message on the chat box. Okay. So in the middle part, you are explaining the detail of the person. You can say, the grandfather is wearing a blue sweater or t-shirt. And also, the father is wearing a blue shirt. Everyone is wearing blue. Everyone is wearing blue. Mother and father are clapping, right? They are clapping or they are very happy. And the daughter is holding a flower bouquet behind her. And the boy is holding a gift or a present on his hands. Now go to small part. You are thinking, you are, you are telling what you think of the picture. In the small part, what do you do? You describe what you think. Okay, now what do you think of this picture? I want ideas. Chenuti, what do you think of this picture? I think the grand, the grand, their grandfather's birthday party. I think. And okay. the mother and father are celebrating and the, uh, their daughter and son are giving a surprise to him. Okay. Hamish and Rushali, what do you think? They are having a nice picnic, like, I don't know, eating. No, it's not a picnic, right? The boys are going to surprise them. They are going to surprise Yes, yes. Emmett, what do you think? Emmett? I think that uh, his family is surprising him with presents and food. Okay, Emmett, who is he? Uh, the grandpa. Yeah, that's it. Demindi? I think they are feeling very happy. They are feeling very happy. And what do you think is happening here? I think uh, this day is very special day for the old man. Okay. That's it. Okay. Kavya? Uh, I agree for this one. I think uh, it's the grandfather's birthday or something and the two children are... Um, surprising him and the pair uh, mother and father prepared food and yes that's all okay with me i agree to chenati also i think this is grandfather's birthday party and his family surprised him uh, with presents foods and other things okay tenulia I think uh, this is the old man's birthday or something special day to him. And his granddaughter and grandson, grandson are preparing gifts for him. And they are going to surprise the old man. And other two uh, women and man are his son and daughter. And they are organizing a party for the old man. Uh, very good, very good. Yasiru?
Yasiru, are you here? Yasiru, you are not going to get your attendance if you don't talk. If you have a problem with your mic, you can type and send me a message on the chat box. Because I don't want you to just open this Zoom meeting and go and sleep or go and have your lunch or I don't know, whatever the things that you do. Play video games because I know children do these kind of things and I don't want you to do that during my lessons because we are preparing for a Cambridge exam. We can't play here. Okay, here's the thing, children. Remember this thing when you get to describe this part. You get a question like this. You definitely get, okay, this is the way of your exam. You get a picture. You will be asked to explain. You will be asked to describe the picture. What you need to remember, remember the big part, middle part, small part. What are they? What are they? Big part, middle part, part, small part. part. What do we talk about in the big part, children? In the big part, we talk about the, the things which you can see. Things location. which you can see, the location. Okay. And? And what is going on there? No, 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 no. I people, the surrounding which you people, can see. things, place. People you can see, things you can see, and the place, the location they are in. Okay, here you can see people, you can see table, you can see chairs, you can see other houses, you can see a garden, right? Mm -hmm. And you can say, what is the place? You can see this is the, the backyard of the house, right? Because you can see the doors of a uh, home. Then uh, the things you can see, you can see plates, right? Bottles of uh, juice, bottle of water, then uh, glasses of juice, plates, all the things that you can see. Things, people, place, big part. In the middle part, only one thing. What is it? Only one thing. The details of the person. The details of the people. You can see. Or, and also you can talk about the details of the things. You can say, all the people here where they are wearing blue. All the people here are wearing blue. The girl is wearing a blue dress. The boy is wearing a blue t-shirt and a gray color pants. The mother is, the woman is wearing a blue color shirt and a white color short. The father on this, or this man is wearing a blue color shirt and white color pants. He's wearing red color uh, shoes. And then the old man is wearing a blue color t-shirt and white color pant. Then you can see there are white color uh, chairs, white color walls, white color doors white color flow you can talk about these things then the small part is your opinion children what is it the small part is your opinion what do you think about the picture what's your opinion on this picture what do you think it's happening here you can create a story here you can you can use your imagination and you can say you can say i think uh, it's the birthday of this old man. I think the old man is the grandfather of these two, uh, girl and boy. And mother and father of this girl and boy, they are, uh, they arrange a party for this because there are food on the table, there are drinks on the table. And I think this son and daughter or the grandson and the granddaughter you can use vocabulary this grandson and the granddaughter are bringing the surprise flower bouquet and the gift for their grandfather and he doesn't know about it you can create your own story and present that's how you do it clear clear okay clear, um, teacher. let's go to the next part 
Viharayan Induni. Now, in this yes, part teacher. of the test, you are going to talk about something together, not alone, together for about two minutes. I'm going to describe a situation to you. Okay. Now, I will show you the picture before that. Listen to me. A young man works very hard and has only one free day a week. He wants to find an activity to help him relax. I will show you some activities that could help him relax. Talk together about the different activities he could do and say which would be most relaxing. All right? Yes, teacher. Now talk together. I will show you the picture. Can you see the picture? No, teacher. No. No, okay. Okay. Talk together now. I think I agree with um, fishing because I feel like it's more relaxing for him because he no needs to run anywhere. He can sit in one place and enjoy himself. Do you agree with me? Yes, I think so. Uh, because it is very... Uh, funny and relaxing thing. I, uh, I think reading books is relaxing too because it is very uh, interesting and, and it is very it is very funny. Um, do you agree with me? Actually, uh, no. Uh... Uh, because I find reading boring and not any excitement. Some books are good, but I actually agree more on fishing as before I said. Um, I, I think uh, because reading, because when he works also, he reads and writes. So I think he should do something else. I think uh, painting is also good, but it's not actually more relaxing because you have to stand and do it. Do it. Um, what What's your opinion? Uh, I think so. Uh, because drawing is more interesting than reading. Uh, I think cooking is interesting also and uh, relaxing uh, because he can cook foods and he can try it uh, on his own and he it is very for him do you agree with me i think cooking is uh, i find it good but i don't think it might may uh, help him relax because he needs to go and wash the vegetables cut them and read the recipe he needs to go everywhere without um, staying in one place. So it, it is enjoyable, but it's not relaxing. I think I don't agree in swimming as well because you, uh, you waste your, uh, not waste, it's a good exercise, but I don't agree because uh, it's not a place where you relax because you can't relax while you're swimming. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think so, uh, because uh, swimming is very, uh, very tired thing and it is very boring, I think. Uh, I think walking along with his dog, it is, um, it's interesting because it, it's like uh, its size and he can uh, walk. Uh, walk in a uh, 
park and he can play with his dog um, and go to a picnic. Uh, how about you? I think that's also uh, relax, interesting and relaxing because while he's walking, he can look the nature, what's around him, and a kinds of stuff. And he makes his dog also happy. He uh, he can enjoy actually walking his dog. I don't think a party is a good place for you to be relaxed because um, it, it, there's too much noise. People are shouting and music is too loud, lights. What do you think? Yes, uh, it is very, uh, very, it is not uh, relaxing for him uh, and it is very uh, sharp, shouting place. And uh, I agree with you. I think, uh, I think good. He, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. Good. See, uh, I saw something in Indonesia. Either you are going to use so many adjectives. This is where you get sucked. You are going to. You always say it is very, and then you don't know what the adjective you have to use. Go with the verbs. Don't go with the adjectives all the time. Go with the verbs. You can say, uh, like. You were you you find you you found it very difficult to uh, explain the last picture, the uh, the party, right? You could say, uh, I think going to a party will not be something relaxing because it will make him more tired. It will make him more tired because uh, at the end of the day he will be tired of singing or dancing. Uh, to loud music. So I think it will make him more tired. Do not go with the adjectives all the time. Go with verbs. It will be much easier. And we had a very good. Um, so that will be the end of the test. Thank you, Dee. Okay. That will be the end of your test. Now, do you get an idea what's going on? In your speaking test, what will you have to do? First, they will ask you for some uh, personal information of yours. They will ask, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, what do you study? Are you a student or do you work? If, if you are a student, what do you study? These kind of things. Then what will happen? Then they will give you a picture. Then they will give you a picture to describe. You will have to describe it on your own. Then you will have a set of pictures that you need to talk together with your partner. I think they mean the Tenulia, Hameshi and Rushali got an idea. And also Emit. Did you get an idea about the speaking test? Yes, please. Right, like what are the things that you need to talk? Hameshi and Rushali, what are the things that you need to talk in your speaking test? Yes. What are the sections? Teacher. Hameshi and Rushali, what are the things, what are the sections that you are going to talk in your speaking test? What type of activities are there? Uh, you mean like the one that... Like, the picture this... Yeah, the picture yes, this... Yes, picture, yes. And the dialogue between the two, two or like that. What is the dialogue between two? What are they doing there? Describing a bit. They're, um, discussing about a bit. They are discussing about the best way that man can relax. They will give you a situation. They will tell you the situation. Now, there in, uh, in that test where Induni and Vihara talk together, what was the situation? The man doesn't have much free time. He has only one day. So... Uh, on that one free day, what can he do? You need to suggest things and they will show you the pictures. They will give you the situation. You need to consider that situation and then talk. Clear? Is that clear? Clear. Okay. With two more people, can we try? Two more students. Chenuti and 
I will take Chenuti and um, which one is uh, okay? Chenuti and Demindi. Shall we try Demindi? Devindi, I'm asking you because I know Chenuti can. Chenuti likes to speak. She raised her hand. Can we? Yes. Okay. Let me get your paper. Wait. Give me a second. Okay. Shall we do the same paper? Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Chenuti and Demindi. Chenuti will be the first one and Demindi will be the second one. Okay, teacher. Good morning, both of you. Good morning, teacher. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Yes, Tua. Tua, Tua here you are. Okay, uh, A, what's your name? My name is Chenuti Mindu. Where do you live? I live in Nambalangoda, which is situated in Southern Points. It's not Southern, it's Southern. Okay? okay. Thank you. Then B, Demindi, what's your name? My name is Demindi Metsara. And where do you live? I live in Kandagoda, which is nearby Nambalangoda. Okay. Devindi, do you work or are you a student? I am a student. Okay. And uh, Chenuti, what do you do? Study or work? I study. I am still, I am still learning. 
Okay. Uh, Demi B, what do you study? I study English, Mathematics, Science, um, Sinhala, uh, Geography, History, like that. Okay. Chenuti, what do you study? I study Mathematics, ICT, Geography, and much more. Okay. Demindi, do you think that English will be useful for you in the future? Yes. And why? I think uh, English is uh, used for our uh, future jobs and future life. Okay. And tell us about the people you live with. I live with my mother and father. Okay, so you are the only child in your family? Yes. Okay. Chenuti, how do you get to school every day? I get to school with my mother's car. Okay. What did you do last weekend? I went to beach and I bathed. Okay. Now, I'd like each of you to talk on your own about something. I'm going to give each of you a photograph and I'd like you to talk about it. Okay, so Chenuti will talk first. It shows people learning a language. Okay. Okay. Chenuti, this is your picture. Okay, teacher. Can I start? Yeah, sure. Uh, I can see three people. Uh, they are in a library. I think it's a very big library which has so many books. Uh, I, I can see three students working very, really hard. Uh, I can see a boy who is wearing a blue t-shirt and, and his hair color is brown. I think, I think he is very, I think he is really work, re working really hard. And I can see a girl who is wearing a, a green jacket like that. Her hair color is blonde. He's, she's also working really hard. Uh, next to that girl, I can see a, uh, another girl who is wearing a blue, blue, I think it's a blouse, blue blouse. She is also working hard. Uh, and I can see some tablets on the on the desk. Uh, they are writing a project. I think that's all. Okay. Demindi, here is your picture and try to uh, follow the three steps I told you. <laughs> I can see four, uh, five people in this picture. Uh, they are like uh, one old man uh, and two middle-aged uh, man and woman, uh, two young girl and boy. Uh, I think this is a garden. Uh, these people are feeling very happy. I think this is uh, this old person's old person uh, birthday. His family members are uh, celebrating it. His grandson and daughter uh, is going to surprise him. 
uh, a girl who wearing a, a light blue a frock uh, hanging a, a flower, yellow sunflower uh, bucket in his in her uh, hands Uh, there are so many foods in the table. Okay, okay. Let's move on to the next one. You, you all made some mistakes. Okay, it's not in the table, it's on the table. Surface, no? There are plates of food and juice on the table. Okay. Next one. Now, in this part of the test, you are going to talk about something together for about two minutes. I'm going to describe a situation to you. Okay. A young man works very hard and has only one free day a week. He wants to find an activity to help him relax. Here are some activities that could help him relax. Talk together about the different activities he could do and say which would be most relaxing. Okay, I explained to you the situation and you are going to talk together. Can you all see? Yes, teacher, we can see. Okay, talk together. Uh, I think fishing is very relaxing to me person, personally. I think fishing is a very relaxing activity to all people because you don't have to go and run, walk, anything. You just need to sit and wait for the fish to come. Uh, it's very relaxing, so you can see nature and you can see the fish swimming. I, do you agree with me? Uh, yes, I agree with you, but I think uh, reading is best way to become relaxed uh, because it is my uh, favorite uh, leisure time activity. Uh, it is very interesting um, and we can uh, go another world like uh, reading. Uh, what about you? I also agree with you. I think I think also reading is very uh, very interesting activity. And it is an interesting hobby. Uh, what do you think about painting? I think painting is best because it is very uh, wonderful uh, activity. What about you? I think painting is also a very relaxing activity. You can, uh, painting is very, I think also the paint, painting is very relaxing. What about cooking? Uh, cooking is a uh, good uh, a hobby. Uh, we can cook many uh, foods uh, and taste it. Um, I think um, swimming is uh, like I think swimming is better way to become relax. What do you think about it? I think swimming, I don't agree with you. Swimming is a very hard activity. When you, when you finish swimming, you, you, you are very tired. So I don't think that is 
a good way to relax. What about walking with your dog in a park? I think that is very relaxing. You can see the nature and you can play with the dog. Yes, uh, I agree. I with very you. Yes, uh, good, good, good. Enough, enough, enough. Because I have missed one part, the last part of the uh, test with uh, Vihara and Induni. So we are going to do it now. Okay. I have missed it. I didn't, uh, I just forgot and I didn't realize that I missed it. Okay. So I will do it with you too. And children, you need to listen. Okay. So in this part, what do we do? The examiner will ask you some questions. Okay. Chenuti, what do you do when you want to relax? Chenuti. Chenuti. Teacher, what do you do when you want to relax? I actually read and I collect stamps for my stamp book. Okay, why do you do them? Because it's very fun to me, and the, and I read because it's very interesting. Okay, do you prefer to relax with friends or alone? I prefer to relax with friends because it's very fun. You can hang out with them. Okay, very good. Uh, Devindi, is it important to do exercise in your free time? Yes. Why? Uh, because uh, we can... Uh, We can get uh, good health and perfect body. Very good, very good. Uh, do you think people spend too much time working or studying these days? Yes, I think. Why do you think so? Uh, because... Uh, Nowadays, uh, this uh, situation, people uh, are removing their practical uh, works uh, and they, they start to work in online. And Okay, fine. So this is what it looks like. Okay, stop doing other things. Stop doing other things. Indoni, Vihara, Kavya, Tenuli, I can't see y'all. So here is the thing. You get your you get to do your speaking test like this. First, you, they will ask you your information. Then they will ask you some other questions like, what do you do? Do you study? Do you work? What do you study? What do you do if you are working? Something like that. Then they will give you a picture to describe. You'll get to describe the picture. Then you will have to talk together based on a situation. Then you will have to answer some questions based on those pictures. Okay, like now Chenuti and... Uh, Chenuti and um, Demindi talked about Hamishi and Rushali. What are you all doing? You all are not concentrating. I can see everything. Don't do that. Okay. So Demindi, Demindi and Chenuti talked about the relaxing thing. What can you do for relaxing? Right. At the end of the talking together, you have to talk together. No? At the end of that test, the examiner will ask you about the situation. Like if it is about relaxing, they will ask you these kind of questions. What do you do for relaxing? 
why do you do them? Do you think people spend too much time working or studying that they don't have a free time? Like these kind of questions. Okay, and that will be your end of the, and that will be the end of your test. At the end of the test, you will have to answer some questions, then they will release you. So next week onwards, every week, every week, this is the, this is the plan. Okay, so today I gave you an email writing, right? I told you last week that we are going to write an email every week. So I gave you today one. From next week onwards, what are we going to do is two students, a couple of students every week will do the test. Like this today, Chenuti and Demi they did it. Okay. And who else? Vihara and Induni did it. Next week, I will pick two more students. They will do it. For 30 minutes, we will do the discussion. We will do the speaking test. And others will watch it. Others will watch it. Others should get the idea, okay, what should I do during the test? And when you get your time, when you get your chance, you need to do it perfectly because you have seen so many students speaking right like that and also i want to ask you something chill get your exam booster and come to page number teacher yes. you took it that day yes you teacher don't, you don't Not have teacher. it in no. you took the exam booster okay no problem no problem then get your trainer get your trainer And come to I think it's page number 10 reading part one in which book teacher trainer trainer this one this one you have it with you right Yes. Yes, teacher. Are you? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you have this one? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Five different short texts, example signs, notices, emails, messages, advertisements. You have to read. Then choose which option A, B, or C means the same as the short text okay these are the type of questions that you get in your exam children okay now this one is your homework only one because you get your you get a lot of homework in your workbook right so i'm not going to give you a lot of work in here first one Look at the five short texts, match one to five with these text types. Advertisement, label on packet, notice in school, road sign, sign in park. Read these five messages and decide if it is an advertisement, if it is a label on a pocket, notice in a school, road sign or sign in park. Okay, do that. Mark it. Okay. Then come to page number, I guess it's, oh, I don't see the page number here. Page number 12. Page number 12. Page number 12 and 13, exam practice test one, reading part one. Question one to five. Question one to five, can you see? For each question, choose the correct answer. You need to read this message and which option has the same meaning you have to underline it you read this you read these three choices and find which choice which answer has the same meaning as this message there are five questions here one two and here three four five mark that two activities in your trainer book and homework in your workbook 
clear? Clear? Yes, teacher, clear. Okay. Then, any doubts about today's lecture? Anything? If you have any doubts, you can tell me. No, you understood everything? You understood how to uh, tackle your speaking test? How to face your speaking test? What will you get in your speaking test? Do you have an idea? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, then we'll meet next week, children. Okay, do your homework, study and come for next week lecture. Okay. And also you will have to speak from next week onwards. And I will pick you. I will, I will tell you who are the two students next week, not today. Okay. Then uh, shall we wind up? Okay. Goodbye, children. Have a nice day and stay safe. Bye, teacher. Have a Bye, nice day. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.